Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so I wanted to do a quick, you know, probably three to five minute video. I was walking through Walgreens to get a knee brace for uh, my hyperextended knee because I'm 36, getting old. And uh, I saw this hanging on the rack. So it says one in four contains a hit of either an auto, a parallel, cards, or packs. I don't know how, I don't know what a hit they consider, but anyway, we're going to open it up uh, with six bucks. So I'm going to open it. If you see them, they had baseball ones too. Obviously, I'm more of a football guy over baseball, um, but let's just see. Let's see what happens. It's always cool to try out new stuff. Um, I do see a pack, so it's probably some yeah, 1990 score. Perfect. It's like the worst pack you could possibly get. And then I see a bunch of these uh, Premier Draft cards, which are horrendous as well. Um, so we got Jalen Camp. We got a Jerry Judy. We got a Kenny Robinson. We got a bunch of cards that are backwards, so we'll flip those around. Marlon Character. Rashad Weaver. Riley Cole. I don't know how to say that guy's name. Morin Mitchell. Jonathan Adams. Jason Uwig. Ngakwe. Chris Wilcox. And here we go, the 1990 scorecards. Willie Anderson, Robert Massey, Derek Hill, Jeff Gossett, Gary Reasons. Gary Reasons, look at that man. I bet he was on some roids. Tim Spencer, Jacob Green, Kevin Butler, TJ Turner, Robert Lyles, Tim Rosenbach, Marcus Allen, he was awesome. And Icky Woods, he was also awesome. The Icky Shuffle. And Marcus Allen, man, he was incredible. He had it going on, man. Um, and that's it. And we got this pack. Let's see what's in here. It's pretty thick, but <laughs> back in uh, 1990 pack doesn't really mean much. So um, I'm not even sure what you could find in here. Like Barry Sanders, maybe? I don't know. Jeff Query, Phil Sims, the good old announcer. I actually like Sims. He's pretty good. Dan Majowski. Um, wow. This dude's hair. He had a fat mullet going on there. Um, Larry Kinnebrew. Icky Woods again. Derek Hill. Uh, these were pretty cool back in the day. Now, for nostalgia purposes, these are pretty cool packs. Because if you were a kid and you bought these, you remember these. Um, so, on the back, it has a question. If you're watching this video... And you can answer this question. Well, you can look it up on YouTube. So it's for, I was going to offer a uh, a free blaster to somebody. I have an extra one of these, but you can look it up. So there's no point in doing that. But anyway, it says two players were back-to-back -back Super Bowl MVPs. Name one of them. And um, it was C, Bart Starr, games one and two, and Terry Bradshaw. So there's two answers there. Um, I will find a way to do a giveaway on my channel. Um, just give me some time. I uh, got yeah, Cornelius Bennett, Rodney Holman, Irv Eatman, Gerald Riggs, Tony Mandridge. <laughs> wow, this dude. If you've never uh, heard about him, he's considered the biggest, one of, if not the biggest bust of all time. Um, he was the number two pick in the draft. And he, he, look at, I mean, he is massive. Like, he was that big, but he was fast. And so they found out he was like, he was, dude was roided out of his freaking mind. I mean, he was really, really bad on steroids. Um, nonetheless, he ended up going, I think, to the Colts. He had a couple stints maybe elsewhere. But when he came out, they called him the Incredible Bulk. He was actually on the cover of Sports Illustrated. But, um, geez Louise, man, that guy. <laughs> he, uh... Yeah, in college he was good, but when he got to the NFL, wasn't so wasn't so great. Cortez Kennedy, John Freeze, I remember him well. Yeah, very well. Bob Gagliano, Jamie Holland, and oh, always good no matter what to see old Jerry Rice, the greatest to ever do it. Um, when I open packs and cards, I, I like to talk about the players, so we're going to go on a little tangent about Jerry Rice. So, Jerry Rice... Um, to my knowledge, has 22,000 receiving yards. And I think the closest person to him is Larry Fitzgerald. 
And if I'm, if I, I may be mistaken, but I think Fitz got to like 17 or 18,000. Nobody is ever going to catch this dude in receiving yards or receiving touchdowns. I mean, I, by 1989, he had already, well, not, I mean, he had 66 touchdowns in essentially six years. So he averaged 11 touchdowns a season. And I think that he has, he probably has 200 receiving touchdowns as well. I think he, he has exactly that number. Anyway, what was really cool is that he was drafted out of uh, Mississippi Valley State. Um, and he, I think, went, it says number 16. I'm not sure if he went in the first round, but um, he was incredible. I mean, he was incredible not only while he was with the 49ers, but he went on to play uh, with the Oakland Raiders. He was still incredible. Um, I believe he went on to play a little bit with the Seattle Seahawks. was decent there. And I want to say, I think there was one other team. I can't bring it to mind. But nonetheless, man, uh, props props to Jerry Rice. He was only 6'2", 200 pounds. You know, not, not the tallest of guys. But, you know, when I think of the greatest receivers of all time in NFL history, I think of uh, Jerry Rice and Randy Moss. They're the top two guys that come to my mind um, because they were so dominant. Um, you know, you have debatable players that you can throw up there, Fitzgerald, you know, just because of his longevity. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll stop talking about Jerry Rice because I'm sure uh, this video is coming to an end. And uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate the... Uh, you know, the feedback and, um, you know, I love sports and I love talking about it. And so uh, if you like sports and want to share your, your comments, feel free to do so. Have a good night, guys. God bless. And I uh, will see you again.